crafters Lisa here from fun stuff crafts so glad you stopped by my channel today so the holidays are upon us and for the next 12 days I'm gonna be releasing a video tutorial on either a Christmas ornament or a Christmas decoration so wherever you join me in this journey I'm so glad you stopped by and please subscribe to my channel support my channel and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video so stay tuned let's see where the 12 days of Christmas is taking us this year and I hope you enjoy it so we've got another fun project for you today and I will tell you I never thought I was gonna be a gnome girl but I have been making these cute little guys um, the past couple weeks and I've just been having so much fun with these different types of gnomes so today I decided to try something totally different with the gnomes so this is gonna be a first for me and what we are going to do is we are going to use one of these styrofoam trees and we are going to make a gnome with some socks. So can't wait to show you um, how I put this all together. So let's just go ahead and get started on it. So I'm going to put my other gnomes off to the side, get them out of the way a little bit, and I'm going to show you what we're going to get started with. I'm going to use two different types of socks or two different decorations of socks. I'm going to use a red sock for my body and I'm gonna use this cute little polka dot one for my gnome hat. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use yarn actually for my beard. Now I've done a couple different versions here just to give you some options. This is a beard with the fake fur. This is a beard with um, a mop head that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. And then this is a beard that is from a duster that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. But today I thought it would be fun to try doing it with some yarn. And then what I had been using is ping pong balls for the nose. Um, a couple other options. I have some leftover doorknobs from my um, countdown tree that we did um, a couple weeks ago for Christmas. So I thought that would be a good idea. I've also got some wooden balls. So I thought that that might be a cute idea for a nose or a ping pong ball. So we're gonna see which one we decide to do with the um, with this cute little gnome that we're gonna be making. And then of course, I just got some little add-ons, leftover ornaments and stuff that will um, make the hat look really cute on this gnome. So other than that, I'm gonna need scissors and I'm gonna need my glue gun. So let's go ahead and get started. So using the large cone, and let me give you an idea, I forget the height of this. Yeah, this is a 12 inch cone, okay? So I'm gonna start with my 12 inch cone and I am gonna get this little guy dressed. So I'm just gonna use the sock and I'm gonna spread it over the cone. It comes up almost all the way, okay? And the heel, I'm gonna just make sure that heel ends up being the back of, of my gnome, okay? And then I, think I am going to go with um, this wooden nose. Now I may end up thinking it's too small, but we're going to go ahead and try and see what it looks like. So what I did is my wooden ball has got a hole in the back of it. And so I just grabbed some floral wire and I'm going to just stuff that into my ball and twist it around. And then I'm actually just going to push that right into my styrofoam. I think I got my wire just a little bit too big. So let's go ahead and trim that. Okay, so I've got my little nose in. Okay, and then what I wanna do is I wanna start working on my beard, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my yarn and let's see how long his beard needs to be. And I'm gonna put his beard almost all the way down. So I'm just gonna measure it, 
Okay, and then let's see how long it is. It is right at 11 inches, okay? So I'm just gonna take, and this is a really thick, um, thick yarn that I'm using because the other thing we're gonna do with this yarn is we are gonna untwist it so he really looks like he's got a full beard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a bunch of strips of this yarn. And we'll see what this one turns out like. These have just been so much fun. The gnomes have got their own little personalities as you dress up their hats, um, as you do different things with their beards. Um, the other one that I thought was really cute, I saw somebody had found some little miniature boots. And so they actually set their gnome on, um, on the boots so he looked like he had feet. So that was another really cute, cute idea. So let's see. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to go ahead and go with 12 pieces and we'll see, um, see how that turns out. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with that. Okay. And I'm going to lay my little guy down just so I can kind of see where I'm at with him. And then I'm going to add some glue with my glue gun. And I'm just gonna put that glue right underneath the beard. Oh, excuse me, the beard. I'm adding the beard, Lisa. I'm gonna put that glue right underneath the nose, okay? And I'm just gonna start adding pieces of it. And you gotta be kind of quick because this stuff likes to dry. And you wanna get it up as close to the nose as possible. I really don't wanna see that red from my sock. I just want to see the beard, okay? So just keep adding that in. May have to cut some more. But again, you guys, it's just kind of, see how, see how he's starting to come together? Kind of reminds me of an old world Santa Claus right now. <laughs> how he is got this long, long beard. Let's see. So I'm thinking, thinking that I need to add probably about three more pieces. So let's go ahead and cut three more. And you guys will judge, you know, you guys can definitely use the smaller cones. I've got a couple of the smaller cones too. I just thought this tall guy would be a real cute one to have. So my other gnomes are really fat and plump. Um, and so I thought maybe I could make a tall and skinny one. So that's what gave me kind of the inspiration to try this one. Okay. So there we are with his beard. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and start just unraveling this yarn. And what I find the easiest to do that is just get a piece of it, oops, except for you don't want it to come unglued. And we'll just get it all unraveled. So I'll go ahead and fast forward through all of this, you guys and then I'll meet you back as soon as I've got his beard all unraveled. So I got that done. One thing I think I want to do is I'm just going to grab a couple pins here. Uh, glue and styrofoam don't necessarily match. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a couple of straight pins to actually pull his sock 
up above and around his nose. And that way I can make sure that his little beard guy is gonna stay up too, okay? So there we are. You can definitely make him a little bit fuller. I can definitely play with pulling out some of this um, yarn a little bit more so. But I wanna get working on the hat. So let's go ahead and, isn't he so cute so far? Cute little nose there, okay? So let's go ahead and work on the hat. Now on these other gnomes that I've made, I've cut socks for the hat. This guy, I'm actually going to do a complete hat. So what I'm gonna do is the bottom part of the sock, so this is where you would normally put your foot in, right? The bottom part of the sock, I'm going to poke in, okay? And I am going to make it so that my sock has got a finished look to it, okay? So see how that guy now comes in and he's just cute as can be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the pins, you guys, instead of my glue gun. And I'm just gonna take that hat and pull it down around the nose. <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute. So I definitely think this looks like an old world Santa um, instead of a gnome, but Okay, so now is how do you want the hat? Do you want the hat to be lazy and come over? Or what do you want to do? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of twine, okay? And I am just going to pull and tie a knot at the end of his hat, okay? I'm going to take a knot. And then I'm going to clip that. Okay. And then we kind of decide to need to decide how we want his hat to come. And I think I want him to come over and be like that. Okay. So again, I am going to opt to use a pin instead of my glue gun. And I'm going to go right into that styrofoam with his hat. Okay. So now we need something at the end of that hat. And I've got these leftover ornaments that we've used on some of our other projects. And I've also got some bells that I had. So let's see which one looks the cutest. The piece looks really cute. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go with the little tree. It's really, it's the one that looks the most rustic, okay? So let's go ahead and clip off the tag part of this one, okay? And I'm, I am going to use my glue gun here. I'm just going to put a dab of glue on the back of that hat. And I'm going to put it right there on his little hat. I think I'm going to pull that hat over just a little bit. So again, I'm going to use a pin. about using the styrofoam is that you can use the pins and you don't have to worry so much about the glue. So there you go you guys. What do you think of this cute little old world Santa gnome is what I'm gonna call him. So definitely you could dress him up a little bit more but I just think he's cute as can be. So thanks again for joining me for another 12 days of Christmas. And here's a close-up look at our old world Santa gnome. I hope you enjoyed this project on our 12 days of Christmas. I know I had fun putting it together. Don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY projects.